Hello guys, we're right here, standing strong for another peak of battle, holy freaking shit, another one, George? Yes, another one. Oh, and this time, before I battle my boy Robotnik, that's right now doing stuff. Ugh. For Squim? I'm pretty sure it's Squim Malamars, I'm not sure. I don't remember what he was saying. Um, so... I'm gonna go to into the team before we go to the match because you know it's it's a bad idea doing that. So I'm pretty glad I got the the team I've got. So right now we have let's start with Pokemon number one, which is Magnezone. The reason I have Magnezone is because it destroys his team. It hits everything freaking hard. There are no switches to the thing. And it's in turn really useful to break through his pretty much annoying wall core because his wall core is pretty annoying. Um, yeah, Magnuson's goal is to just hit hard and clean up walls so some of my other mons can do work. Well, our next Pokemon is Swampert. It's your boy Swampert. Yes, this is my brand new member for the Toronto Tyrantrums. And yes, I use him straight from the get-go because Swampert is an incredible bulky mon. And it's really useful in general against his team. It's actually exceptionally useful. It's there to check Zygarde with Roar to take on the Armanitan, which is something my team does not appreciate. Then I have Umbreon, um, that in general pretty sure takes all his special attackers on. I'm gonna dare to say that I am pr pretty sure I'm wrong, but pretty sure I'm right at the same time. Um, it takes on all their special hits, like Mega Pidgeot, it can easily take hard hits from it. I don't even know if it's a 3 hit KO, but it's definitely not a 3 hit KO. I don't even know if it's a 3 hit KO after leftover. So, anyways, Umbreon's job take special hits, um, hit a little bit hard with foul play, and yeah. Pretty much that. Then we have our another new member from the trading window, Vileplume. Sorry for the dogs outside, I don't know. They're big dogs, are fighting. Um, and it goes Sleep Powder, Sludge Bomb, Gigadrain Synthesis. This is basically a set to, um, to take on Rotom, to take on Conkeldur, because pretty much I'm gonna take an Ice Punch and then Sleep Powder. I know it's a bit unreliable, but so decent. I mean, TBH, I don't have an answer for Conkeldur. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna go through that later. Um, then we got my my man that in late game he's gonna clean up. Boom, 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 boom. Clean up his team. Like, what's that team? Clean it up. And because Squim Malamars, their first match against um, Sans Guy Joss, they lost due to a choice card Moxie Krugadal. Let's hope that this week they're gonna lose the Toy Scarf Moxie Vegeta, as known as Heracross. Well, basically Heracross is here to come late game, clean up, um, get those Moxie boosts and just beat the shit out of everything. Um, and then we have something, we, we had to bring Lando T basically guys. Um, Lando T pulling through the field with Earthquake, U-turn, knock off, hidden power eyes. This thing basically hits everything in his team straight up it hits everything everything pretty hard and the reason I have HPIs is for the stupid ass annoying ass Gligar so that is basically the team we have and we're gonna go with it I mean it's a pretty good team I mean I built it for Squim Malamars and Let's remember that the three and one lost to Gargaflop last week, but it's fine because Gargaflop is a literal beast. But don't, but don't let him know that. Um, so let's hope we're gonna win this match, even though um, Robotnik is the only man that beat a Gargaflop. So this may mean that he can beat me as well, or that's kind of bullshit. Every match is new, and now that we're speaking about Robotnik, where the fuck is Robotnik? Um, I guess I'm gonna pause until <laughs> Robotnik comes here, and I'm gonna be right back.
And we're right back with the bell. <laughs> it took a bit of time, but but it's all but it's eight. It's all right. Well, something I forgot to tell you guys is that um, a big threat to my team is Malamar as well. But we're gonna ignore that for now. Um, I mean, I'm gonna bluff the scarf with Lando T, and just lead with it. I'm gonna be honest, not many things in his team take a foul play. The only thing I could think is, uh, Kelder. That's it. Zygarde could be a problem depending on the move set, but I have Swampert if he's the DD slash coil shenanigans. Anyways, Bell has start. We need to keep our calm. Something that I realized it seems that Vegeta can clean it up after a point. But the thing is, I need to recognize his Carver. Uh, you too, buddy. Let's make this a good battle. Mm. Well, bluffing the Scarf on Lando is a pretty good idea. Because he doesn't have the many switches on Lando, TB8s. So, we're waiting. He's probably thinking, what is he gonna leave with? He's probably gonna be like, oh, he's gonna leave with Lando. And, no, he's gonna think, because Lando is so fucking obvious, he's gonna think that... Um, he's not gonna leave with Lando, he's gonna leave with something that my team counters with Lando. Yes, competitive Pokemon, guys. Really advanced thinking. <laughs> and we can see this. So, this, this battle can go either way. The fact that he lacks priority... Wait, he doesn't lack priority, George, you stupid retard. He has Zygarde Extreme Speed, but... I don't know, it wouldn't be the best idea having it. Uh, I have HPS on Lando to take on um, being uh, real quick, sorry. Don't don't worry. Take your time, buddy. Oh, somebody said Yeah, Rebel in progress and that. Okay. Sorry for the pause. Had to do something. Um hmm. This is a pickle, not only for me, but for him as well, especially for him. I have so many things I can lead. Like, leading with Malamar is just a horrible idea straight off. <laughs> um, leading with Conkelder isn't... Actually, leading with Conkelder is not a bad play. What do I have to take on Conkelder? Yeah, I have Vile Bloom. yes. Um... Oh, Naveed joined. <laughs> Bye. Naveed pulling through the battlefield. So, yay, one guy. Don't forget the monkey. Robotnik. <laughs> okay. I mean... It's a huge battle for me and Robotnik, because I'm pretty sure we're 3-1 both. I just have the higher... The Maki... <laughs> Anyways, um... I don't know, I'm trying to get on his head right now, but... Hey, I can't. I can't get on his head. He's... I mean, he's a Robotnik. He's, he's a pretty good battler. To my knowledge and to league experience, of course. I mean, the three, the four weeks he did, he did great. He could have been four zero if it wasn't for. I mean, it was his first time. He couldn't do much. Sorry, I'm rumbling. I'm trying to keep you guys entertained. I'm probably gonna pause it in like the next ten seconds if he doesn't start, and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna resume it when it's gonna be his turn. Hmm. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna pause right now, and I'm gonna resume when it's gonna be his turn. And here we go, the battlefield kicks in. Welp, I'm gonna U-turn. He may be Scarf Rotom. He, he, he may be Scarf Rotom, George, but I don't really think he is. Uh, I just don't really think he is. 
Don't want to be a little bitch, but I don't think he is. Okay, I can shut up now. Oh my god, what if he's actually Joy Scarf so he can outspeed me? Well, I'm gonna look like a fool. First of all. Second of all, I'm gonna look like a big fool. <laughs> but, but the thing is, at least I'm not gonna look like a fool. So, he's, he's thinking right now. He's like, hmm, what should I do to the man? He sees that I'm life or which is ah, stupid, but anyways, he's probably gonna go for... I'm gonna go slug. I'm thinking the Willow right now is his best choice. It's Hydro. Um, okay. I'm just gonna click Foul Play. I mean, whatever he goes into, gets at least damage. I mean, Pidgey got a decent attack. Malamar is gonna kind of get fucked by it. Gerard is gonna get really fucked by it. I don't see why he did that. Really. That's really questionable. He, he may have something in his mind. That's you turn. I'm gonna follow play again. I'm not really getting threatened by you, buddy. Zygarde, that's gonna hurt as well. Boom. Okay. <laughs> it didn't hurt that much. <laughs> um... Swampert is gonna pull through the battlefield. This is his debut, so go easy on the man. He's gonna solve. Oh no, he's gonna sweep me. What am I gonna do, guys? He got me on my tracks. Oh no! <laughs> and that is why Swampert is a team player. And get the fuck out of here, Zygarde. You're too predictable for my kind. Well, here he's like, mm. whatever he does, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna take a hit and put rocks up. You can't do shit about it. I'm Swampert. Fucking hell, Swampert. Swampert just two turns in the battlefield and he's already doing work. <laughs> I'm just really desperate to see this putting in work. Okay, guys. Um. Well. Well. I mean, rocks are pretty good. They hurt Pidgeot. Pidgeot, maybe. Yup, he's gonna knock off. Fair enough. Fair play. Fair play, player. I'm gonna skull, maybe fish a burn or something. Or maybe switches to Conkeldor and gets, and I get the burn because I'm really lucky. <laughs> I don't know what he really is from this damage. He may be, he can be anything, but not like life or He cannot be life or He may be Scarf. Scarf is a possibility. Yup, he was probably Scarf. He goes to Jirachi. He's playing really ballsy with his Jirachi. I could have went for Earthquake there. God dang it. Why would you bring Jirachi in? Do you have a grass move, Mr. Jirachi, that you haven't spoke about? I mean, why would you bring in Jirachi? To bring... God dang it. He got me. <laughs> He's gonna try to flinch me to death. Vileplume putting in the war, ladies and gentlemen. Is this a real Vileplume we see here? It's probably fake, but anyways. Um, well, we both got rocks. That's what it's all about. I'm gonna bring Swamper again, because fuck this Zygarde. This Zygarde is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, this Zygarde is a little bitch. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Yeah, 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 you can do your stupid shit and shenanigans. I'm gonna roar. He may detail. Oh, he detailed. That's bad. That's actually fucking stupid, but anyways. Um, Giga Drain? Giga Drain this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh god, I didn't break the sub. Is this the end? Is this the end? <laughs> oh god, I'm probably. up. Oh, I ate it up. Ate it up. I'm gonna go to Umbreon. It's a bit silly, but I'm gonna do it. I mean, he may go for Earthquake, he's probably gonna go for Sub, what am I saying? I'm gonna Foul Play just to break the Sub. This thing cannot stay here. Oh god, this thing is a monstrosity, I remember. Oh god, you're screwing yourself over. Can you kill me with one hit, this is the question. With one Earthquake. I mean, I'm not defensive. If I was defensive, I would just say, I'm gonna take the hit, you bitch. <laughs> but I'm not, oh, but I still take it, I'm pretty sure I take it out. I do not. With plus two attack, I still do not take it. Maybe it's because... Oh, God. Oh, 
I'm somehow faster, he details and takes me out. Okay. Now we can bring something and kill it. Oh god. Don't be bullish to me, guys, please. It's my... Oh, hello. Okay, so he takes us out like a little bitch. How, how can he do that to us? How can you do that to us, man? That's completely uncalled for. Anyways. Lando the Intermates this motherfucker. I mean, I could Earthquake. I could knock off. I mean, I'm gonna Earthquake. Just just in case he brings, like, I don't know. He brings something. I mean, Jurati's, like, sleep. Ready to die, it's like, please fuck me. Like, it's a sleep. It's slow. It's me. Oh, God. Oh, he gets me. That the man is a man. Not gonna lie. I'm, I'm gonna stay in. I'm real. I'm real. I'm sorry, guys. I'm real. He's gonna, he's gonna Vulture us. I can feel it. Okay, he will always me. And Lando D is crippled. What I mean by cripple, I mean fucked. Cause I lost lot. Oh god, I'm misplaying so hard. <laughs> um, just go to vile puke. Pain split. Um, thank you very much, sir. Good looking, sir. I think you just got served. Okay. Okay, I can Giga Drain something, anything. Please, let me do it. God. <laughs> Pidgeot. Okay, I get some damage on this threat. Should I let Vileplume die? Yeah. Why in the heck not? Yeah, just let it die. Let it die. Let it die. I'm gonna tell you one thing, nigga. I still have a chance, guys. It looks like I fucking got destroyed, but I really did Because I got Vegeta with Toy Scarf. That needs to pull through. So basically, look at his team. What do you think the moment you see his team? You're like, fucking Vegeta week. Oh god, it's disgustingly weak to Vegeta. Holy shit, are you doing it on purpose, Robotnik? No Gligor, no Aromatis? What are you doing, nigga? You, you, you live Vegeta. Get on his zone. Let me check Sky. I'm sorry. I'm. I suck at commentary. Wait, you little shit. Okay, so he goes to Jirachi, and I fuck it up. Vegeta, Vegeta. I mean, pretty sure I can clean up after can kill. There takes a bit of. Can he stop this? I mean, he can go this, which is like a stop. What is he gonna go for? I'm gonna go to Swampert anyways. Uh, take a lot of- oh, fire punch! <laughs> oh, calculated! Calculated, 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 guys. It was all calculated. I mean... I mean, I'm pretty sure- what- Zagger doesn't have extreme speed. Good news for us. <laughs> I think I clean up with Vegeta! Holy shit! You, sir! Um, Robotnik. Straight up. What is up with you and Toy Scarf Moxie weakness? Like, are you doing it on purpose? You're trying to troll me, you're like, oh, I'm gonna troll George. Cover. Um, I mean, am I even faster? Maybe? Maybe I'm faster. Um, I'm gonna Kulk. Okay, so... Vegeta can win the match. Holy shit, he let her can kill her take damage, oh my god! Oh my god, holy shit! Is she doing it on purpose, ladies and gentlemen? Is she doing it on purpose? He has mock punch? Yep, he does, okay. Do we need this for anything? No, we're gonna hit this hard, nigga. I'm gonna hit it with a an, an earthquake. Boom! Damage is damage, boys! Fire Punch. He takes me out with Fire Punch. Fair enough. The, the game is like, oh my god, George is gonna lose, guys. But but then you're like, Vegeta. And then he's like, Moxie, Toy Scarf, Weakness. Ladies and gentlemen. The question is, can I take him out? Does he have anything with press? Nope! <laughs> the close combats are enough to finish the game. Oh my god. That's a most cheap way to win. Oh my god, I feel bad. I take him out. Nigga, he's out. Nigga, he's down and out. Ah, 
Oh god! Oh god! Ladies and gentlemen, can Malmar take a hit? I'm pretty sure it cannot. Let's see, come on, Vegeta. Come on. You you need to pull through. Vegeta takes another Pokemon. Oh my god, he's gonna clean his team up. He's gonna clean his team up. GG! I'm I'm glad he realized. He was so scarf. He was like, please don't be Ma. Please don't be jolly. And I was jolly. And I won! Because Vegeta is the boss! Oh my god, Vegeta, what are you doing to his team? Vegeta, you gotta stop! Vegeta! Oh my god. And people are questioning me, why the fuck did I bring this thing? And then I was like, this shit is gonna do work. And, and look right here. Look right here. It's, it's, it's literally having a vacuum wave. And literally cleaning his team. I need to shut the fuck up, but anyways. So, and the last close combat sums it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Magnus didn't even have to come out. I mean, I would gladly pull it out, but Vegeta wins. Vegeta OP. And this video is basically proving why Vegeta should be in the league. Yes, sir. See? Even fucking Navi agrees. Or I could call him. No, I'm gonna stop. No, no puns. <laughs> So I'm gonna stop rumbling and I'm gonna finish this OP ass Vegeta ass video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like for Bloody Vegeta, he did the work. And make sure to enjoy this video. And if you actually did enjoy this video, drop a like, comment how OP my team is. Just kidding, my team is shit. But anyways, and maybe you subscribe, maybe you wanna see more of this league. And maybe I can do some showdown sessions. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching it, and see you later. Bye!